Hello fellow bikers, this is Jim Hendricks. Today I'm sharing my first ride of 2019 uh, from my home up in North London to the Shoreditch area of downtown London to the uh, Bike Shed Motorcycle Club, which is a restaurant and pub that was holding a special uh, Dakar event for the Dakar race, which is starting tomorrow. There's two main ways to get downtown from where I live. One is going down the A1, and the second is taking the M40, which becomes the A40, uh, which takes me down into the Regent's Park area of London. Uh, Tom, Tom, my navigating software, recommended the A40 tonight. So here I am coming onto the A40 and filtering down. There's the Hoover building over on the left, which is always a nice landmark. The A40 looks like a nice three-lane way to get into downtown London, but very recently they've controlled it down to 40 miles per hour speed limit with average speed cameras, and that makes it kind of less than great. But tonight, as you can see, there was very little traffic. One of the buildings you can see on the A40 going down to London is the Grenville Tower, which is over on the right. It has the large green heart on the top of it. That building, of course, had the fire last year and is still being reconstructed. Here I arrive in downtown London proper on the A501, which runs south of Regent's Park. Uh, that's a nice pl way to get across town, and later on it becomes marked as the Ring Road. Compared to my other visits to downtown London by bike, traffic was really easy uh, this evening. Uh, not very many uh, backups or stoppages, and it was actually kind of a pleasure to go through the downtown area for once, because uh, it's pretty at night, all lit up. Here I arrive at the Bike Shed Motorcycle Club. I've been here on foot before to uh, have breakfast, but I've never brought my bike down. To be honest, I've always wanted to ride my bike down just to take it through the seating area to get back to the bike parking at the back, because I think it's so much fun to go uh, past these vaults to get back to the special bike parking area. And as you can see when I get in here, it's packed with motorcycles because a lot of other people also chose to ride down tonight to see the Dakar event, even though it was only about 5 degrees centigrade. I've arrived at about 5.20 p.m., which is five minutes after the official start time. And I think I've got the last space in the bike parking which allowed me to back in. There were a great mix of bikes there, from cafe racers to adventure bikes to rat bikes. It was really fun to see them all. The event was being held by Break Magazine, primarily by Lewin Pavey, and Simon Pavey was there. They both competed in the Dakar a few years ago. Lewin Pavey has a team of two other riders, and they are getting ready to compete in the 2020 Dakar one year from now. They did a great job of talking about their preparation. Of course, Simon was talking about the eight times he had competed. About two hours later, after hearing the talk, I had a great time. It was time to uh, head home again before it got too late. It was only 7.30 p.m., but a lot of the people were getting ready to go as well. Temperature had dropped to about 4 degrees centigrade, so it was going to be a chilly ride home. And once again, you get the thrill of uh, leaving the parking area and going right through the restaurant area. Uh, for once, I actually did observe the 5 mile per hour limit. In fact, a little slower, because the last thing I wanted to do was uh, T-bone some poor uh, restaurant or pub person as they were trying to leave the premises. Back out on the city streets, I pretty much followed the same way uh, home that I came down on, which meant the A501 Ring Road heading back to the A40. If you take a look, uh, again, the traffic was just fine. It wasn't that late in the evening. Um, very pretty to see the city lights, and it makes me think that I need to come back in July or August when it's warm at night and do a trip around the city just to the sights. Um, some of the landmarks of the city at night by motorcycle I think would be really pretty to see if I, my camera can catch it well enough. This ride through the city really wasn't to landmarks or historical places, but just more functional to get to the event in time and to get back out again. The bike I'm riding is the Honda CRF 250L Rally, which is the same bike I take out on green lanes. It's kind of funny to think that the same bike I take through the mud and through rocks and so forth is a bike that I would choose to ride in downtown London. About 8.30 or so, I was getting back out into my neighborhood and um, back up into North London, going through some high streets. The Honda doesn't have heated grips, and I'll admit my hands were a little bit cold at this point, but the rest of, uh, rest of me was fine and really enjoyed the ride. For 40 miles for the first ride of 2019, it was a great time. Thanks for watching.